Would you like to know how keeping your business legal can actually make you more money online? Then stay tuned because in today's video, I'm going to share with you a number of tips and strategies that you can use to keep your business legal and make more money at the same time. Let's do this. My name is Jim Hart. I'm the founding attorney here at Hawthorne Law, where we help you, the online business entrepreneur, to keep your business legal so that you can spend more time doing what you do best, and that is building something that truly matters in the world. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about a number of different things that you can do to keep your business legal and explain to you why doing these things can actually make you more money with your business in the long run. <laughs> Gotta let the cat out first, though. This is our cat, Peanut Butter. He doesn't like to be held, so I'm gonna let him outside and then we'll finish with the video. I got cat hair all over me now. Anyway, so today I wanna to talk to you about how you can make your business more legal and make more money at the same time. I don't know who doesn't wanna know about this topic. So I think the first thing that you need to understand is something that comes up with clients again and again and again. I have so many clients that come in to see me and they think that they can save money by just ignoring the legal stuff, honestly. The problem is the legal stuff applies to your business whether you like it or not. It's not just going away because you decide that you're not gonna spend money or invest money into fixing those problems or to making your business legal. They're still there. And so if you are starting a business and you do things wrong from the beginning, those mistakes are just gonna follow you along and at some point, they're gonna catch up to you. Now, that some point might not be for a long time because it might not be until your business is actually growing and generating millions of dollars a year, but at some point they will catch up to you. And so it's the first thing I want you to understand is that when you start a business online, there are legal things that you need to be aware of and that's, one of the, that's what we're gonna talk about here today because ignoring those things can actually cost you a lot more money than spending some time and effort and money in the beginning to make sure they're fixed and make sure that you handle your business correctly from the start. And I think it's important for you to understand that not only will doing these things set your business up for success, but they can actually make you more money in the long run. Because if you set your business up the right way, you can open yourself up to brand deals or licensing agreements or doing your taxes in a better way that's going to make more money or save more money on taxes in the long run. So there's all these things that you can do from a legal standpoint that can actually really set you up for success. So I want you to think about it a little bit more in terms of legal as not being a cost that you have to spend. You need to think of it as legal is an investment and if you do it right, that investment will pay you back many multiples over the years. One of the things that's really cool for people that are starting out with a brand new enterprise in business is the confidence they get when they set their business up the right way. Because here's the thing, when you have your contracts in place, when you have your LLC formed, when you start to look at trademarks and you know that the, the, the name of your business or the brand that you're creating is something that, that nobody else has used and you know that you're the first one to use it, when you start to do all those things and you get to the point where you start to grow, you can grow with peace of mind knowing that your business is protected, that you have contracts in place so that you're going to know, you know you're gonna get paid by your clients or customers. You know that when you're working with vendors, you're going to be protected and they can't steal your intellectual property. You know that when people buy your course, they're not gonna be able to turn around and sell it on their own. So there's a lot of things that come into play when, you get, when you're getting your legal house in order from the beginning. One of the big ones is you have to understand that you're gonna gain a lot of confidence by building your house the right way. And just to give you a couple of examples of this, you know, I, I had actually a coach, a business coach that I was working with and he was building a brand. And at some point it got to the point where he was ready to sell that brand and another company was willing to write him a big check. The problem was he never trademarked his brand name at the beginning and because he didn't trademark his brand name at the beginning, the deal almost fell through. With trademarks, a trademark takes anywhere from 12 to 18 months to go through. And that's assuming that you have something that can actually be trademarked. And so he put himself in a really precarious position and risked potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars because he hadn't thought about the idea of trademarking his brand from the beginning. When you're doing all these things, it's important to do your due diligence. Another great example, civil litigation attorneys, which I am not one of, but civil litigation attorneys are basically attorneys who represent businesses in disputes. And there's actually special courts called business court that handle disputes between businesses. 
And most of these cases are actually business partners that are going into court to ask the court to deal with things. It's just arguments that they have with one another because when they started their business, they didn't have a contract in place, a partnership agreement in place that delineated how things were gonna go if they had a dispute. So these are the types of things I'm talking about when I talk about gaining confidence with your business by having all the legal stuff in place from the beginning. If you have this stuff in place and you know that you're protected and you know that your trademarks are protected and you know you've got all these things that you don't have to worry about, it frees up mental bandwidth to go out there and look for better deals and look for better clients and look for joint ventures and look for all sorts of things that you can't do if you don't have your house in order. So there's four main things that you really need to be concerned about when you're starting your business. And, and a lot of these are fairly inexpensive, but you just need to be aware of them. You don't need to go out and spend thousands of dollars on a lawyer to help you with these things, because in most cases, you're gonna be able to handle them yourself. And the first thing is gonna be your LLC. Now I've talked about this in a number of videos, why it's important to have an LLC in place. And, and the reason why is it provides double protection. Not only does it protect your personal assets from from the creditors of your business, but it also protects the business assets from your own personal creditors. Those are things you need to think about, and an LLC is a great way to start. I've got other videos, uh, check it out, about when and how to start an LLC. So that's number one. The second thing you really need to focus on when you're in the formation stage of your business, the startup stage of your business, is what contracts you have. And there's a number of contracts that you need to have in place, especially if you're doing an online business. A privacy policy is gonna be required by law, terms of use, are also very important. And then you also may need terms of sale if you're selling an online course, or potentially if you're working with clients one-on-one, -on -one, you're gonna to need to have a client agreement as well. And those are really the baseline agreements that you need to have in place. There's other agreements that you may need along the line, some disclaimers, some waivers, legal waivers for photographing various people. Also, if you're working with independent contractors, you may need independent contractor agreements. There's all sorts of other contracts that you're gonna need as well. But when you're just getting started, the basic ones are gonna be the ones for your website and then a client agreement. And then also, I almost forgot, the operating agreement for your LLC, which is especially important if you have partners, you're gonna need a partnership agreement as well. And so that, that kind of outlines how the partnership is going to work. Those That's the second thing you really need to have in place and really need to be on top of when you're just starting out your business is the contracts you're gonna use in your business and on your website. The third thing you need to be aware of is copyright. This is something I haven't talked about too much on the channel as of yet. Basically what I'm talking about here is if you're publishing anything, an ebook, your website and blog, if you're again a photographer that's, that's creating videos, if you've written a physical book, if you have webinars that are, um, or videos up that you want to protect. Copyright attaches automatically but sometimes in some cases, it's also a really good idea to copyright the actual work. So for example, I've got some books out there and I've copyrighted those books with the US Copyright Office. And there's reasons you wanna do that. Number one, you can't sue anybody if you haven't registered the copyright. Number two, your damages go up if you've registered the copyright. You wanna make sure that you've thought about that and you've, you've taken care to make sure you copyright things that are important to you, the works that you've created that are important to you and your business. And the last thing I really wanna to touch on is trademarks. And I know I've kind of mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but but here's the general idea. When it comes to trademarks, you want to start by doing a trademark search. Now, I'm not going to say that when you just go out to start your business and you're not even selling anything yet, should you go out and trademark your brand or your, your the name of your business? Probably not. A lawyer would be able to tell you for sure. In most cases, probably not. But you, what you do want to do is you want to do an effective trademark search. You want to go online and you want to figure out if the trademark that you're thinking about using is actually available. And that's a really important thing to do because it can save you a lot of money later on if six months or a year from now or two years from now, you find out that somebody else has already trademarked the name that you're using in your business to sell your course or product or service or whatever for the past two years. And you find this out because they send you a cease and desist letter. Now that's a big problem. That's a whole nother can of worms that we're gonna talk about in another episode. That is something that's really important is making sure that the trademark you're using is actually available. Now, as you can see, there's numerous benefits to be had by taking care of the legal aspect aspects of your business early and often and paying attention to these things. This is not something, it's just set it and forget it. These things are gonna stick with you for the life of your business. And in future episodes, what I'm gonna be talking about is the business life cycle. And I really break it down into three parts. There's a startup phase, there's the growth phase, and there's the CEO level phase. A lot of these things I've talked about in today's video, I'm gonna go into more depth in the next few videos. For most of you that are in the startup phase, you wanna handle a lot of these issues before you forget about them and your business gets out of control. 
control or it becomes too late for whatever reason. And an online business lawyer can really help you to understand what issues you need to be aware of and what you need to do to protect your specific business online moving forward. And in addition, they can probably handle some of the legal work for you. Now, I'm putting together a small business toolkit, legal toolkit, that is going to contain a lot of information, templates, tools, checklists that you can use in your business. There's gonna be a link down below in the description. So if you're in that startup phase where you'd rather not spend thousands of dollars on a lawyer, and frankly, you probably don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a lawyer, then that online business toolkit might be exactly what you need to get you the legal protections in place now to help you move forward and focus on what really matters, and that's, like I said, building a business that's gonna make a difference in the world. So check out the next video. We're gonna be talking about some of these issues in more detail, and we'll see you next time.